Hey, hey y'all. Um, Tierra here, of course. Ooh, my hair looks so crazy. <laughs> okay, anyways. So, today I'm filming a chit-chat get ready with me. I'm just going to work. And I'm just going to do like a basic simple look because I'm not feeling like... <clears throat> a voice. I'm not feeling like beating my face today. I say that and watch me come out with like a beat face. <laughs> Um, anyways, basically, I just wanted to sit down and talk because I feel like I never get a chance to do this, mainly because I'm always rushing. So, yeah, I just wanted to sit down and get a chance to finally talk. I don't feel like I talk on here enough. I mean, besides, like, in my vlogs, but I don't feel like people can really connect with me through my vlogs. Like, yeah, it's entertaining. I guess it's entertaining, but I don't know. But, yeah, I just wanted to get a chance to sit down and talk. And I have a little bit of time, not a lot, but a little bit. So I actually just decided to like switch up my filmings, my filming, like where I'm at. Like I'm sitting on the floor right now because I didn't want to sit up on my desk. Like I just, for some reason, I just didn't feel like doing that today. So I have everything on my floor right now, makeup and all. I may regret this when I have to get up and pick everything back up. But you know what? We're going to let it ride for now. Um, Let's see. Christmas is literally four days away and I have like one gift. I have so much left that I still need to do. And I'm so ready to go home. Like I feel like I'm the only one left like in town. And it's just because I've been working so much. Like I was off yesterday. Today is Wednesday. I was off yesterday and literally I was so lazy. Like I couldn't get out of the bed. I didn't want to do anything. I stayed in the bed till like five o'clock yesterday and then I was like okay let's get up and do something like I edited and uploaded a video but that's as much as I got accomplished yesterday honestly and truly like I just could not get up out of the bed <laughs> so I'm going to work today and then I'm off tomorrow so I'm thinking I don't know if I'm gonna feel like going Christmas shopping today like after I get off I get off at six o'clock and so I'm thinking I may just wait and go tomorrow, but I fear that when I say that, I'm going to sit in bed all day tomorrow, but I really don't need to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Like, we'll see what I'm feeling up to. But anyways, the semester is over. I'm so, I'm so happy. Like, this semester was lit. I don't even know if y'all can. Let's zoom up a little bit. There we go. This semester was like... It wasn't even that challenging. Okay, that's a lie. Yes, it was. It wasn't like, it was challenging more like for me, like mentally more than the classes were. Like the classes were hard. I don't know what I'm really trying to say. The classes were hard, but it was like more so like I'm adjusting this semester. Like I was in the middle of adjusting to this semester. Like if you watch like the, my blog that I uploaded like back in August, I think, or September or whatever, whenever I got it up. Like, I was still adjusting, coming from the summer, still, you know, not truly myself. Like, this semester was really about, like, just reconstructing who Tierra is and how others perceive me. Because, honestly and truly, I'm not the same person that I was um, in the spring semester. Even the summer, good lord, I'm not the same person I was this summer. And it's so crazy because I can even see that, like, in my pictures. Like, I'm like... Who is that girl like I was somebody who did not honestly and truly love myself is that weird okay no it's not weird because there's a lot of people that don't know about self-love don't know how to love themselves like I didn't know how to love myself and I honestly didn't know how to like be alone in a sense like I don't know like I've been in a relationship since I've been in college, like literally since I stepped foot in college, hey, I'm in a relationship. <laughs> so yeah, I came out of high school, jumped into college and got into a relationship. And I'm not saying that I don't encourage it, but I'm just more so saying like, make sure you're doing you at the same time. Make sure you're still making friends because at the end of the day, like, not even make sure you're making friends make sure you got you make sure you always have 10 toes down is what i'm trying to say honestly because you never know like people can switch up things can change and 
you know, things aren't going to always play out the way that you thought they would. I'm trying to say this without, like, saying too much, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, where's, where's the line? Where do you draw the line, right? But, yeah, basically my advice about that would be just, like, if you want to be in a relationship in college, like, come in out of high school, cool, do it. Just find a balance. Like, make sure you're still working on you and because there's a lot of changes that happen in college like so much changes like your friend your circle changes like your friends change you change like what you like changes what you thought you like changed like everything changes and it's just making sure you stay grounded and mostly true to who you are like don't lose who you are for other people basically is what I'm saying I don't know if any of this is making sense but hopefully you can pick up what I'm putting down I don't know um yeah that's what this semester was about like basically reconstructing myself because yes I did jump into a relationship when I got into college I don't regret it it was a lesson um a lesson learned I have I don't regret it. I wouldn't change a thing about my college experience. I wouldn't change a thing because it's honestly made me who I am right now. I wouldn't even be sitting here filming this video if I didn't go through what I went through because I turned that pain and I fed it into my passion. Like I'm passionate about makeup. I'm passionate about filming and editing and YouTube. Like I know my consistency doesn't show it, but it's like this is what I want to do. This is what I'm passionate about. No, this is not what I want to like make into a career. But I honestly like who I look up to here on YouTube is Jayla Corian. Like she inspires me so much. Like that is my inspiration. No, I'm not here to be a beauty guru because I know there's so many other people that are better than this than me. And that's fine. But I do it because I love it and because I want to connect with people like I want to like I'm just here for the fun of it honestly and whatever comes out of it comes out of it like you know that's what I'm here for so yes Jayla Corian is my YouTube inspiration like I said I don't regret anything that I've been through in college because I wouldn't be the person who I am today I wouldn't be sit I probably wouldn't even be sitting here making this video because I'd be so consumed with so many other things so yes that's why I say it's a lesson it's been a lesson in so many other forms too like it's been a lesson in so many other forms. That's all I'll say. Um, moving on. Because <laughs> I don't want to just, you know, beat a dead horse about that whole situation. Um, typically, I don't talk when I do my makeup because it takes me forever. Honestly and truly, it really does take me forever. And I may list the products that I use in the description box, or I may just have them like pop up on the screen. I don't know. If I can remember, because I'm so bad about remembering like what products I use, especially eyeshadows. Cause I I will mix so many eyeshadows and be like, okay, Tiara, what what did you what did you use? And I also have it bad for like not like I'll just get on camera and be like, I don't even know what what the hell. I'm filming today I'll just get on camera and be like mm, whatever comes to mind so I've been trying to practice like my looks before I actually film them so I've kind of gotten better in that sense I don't know what's going on with this eye over here but it looks like it's not blending out and it's really about to irritate me so yeah New Year's is coming up and typically I don't make any New Year's resolutions because I'm like the person like you can change your life anytime you want to change your life it's up to you you don't have to wait on a new year a new day or a Monday or anything like that like that's the type of that's the type of person I am but this year I don't think I'm gonna like make any resolutions like because I'm gonna like work on myself physically mentally spiritually 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 and financially like throughout the year but what I am going to do is like set goals for myself. Like that's what I want to do. I want to set goals for myself. Not so much like resolutions. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set goals for myself. So actually for the New Year's I'll be traveling. 
to Texas, I will be vlogging. Yay. Um, yeah, I'll be vlogging. And I kind of like this, like this. Do I want to do it color? This is what I go through every time I get ready. Um, Y'all be vlogging. So I'm going to go see my friends in Texas. I don't ever really go to New Year's parties. Like. I don't know, I just never have been to a New Year's party, ever, ever, ever. This year, I may go to one, I'm not sure, like, I don't know. Stuff like that, I don't know why I'm weird, but like, stuff like that kind of scares me, because I'm like, okay, it doesn't scare me, that's not the right word, but I want to be doing stuff I love, like, bringing, I want to be hanging around people I love on New Year's, like, I don't want to be around random people random like drunk people on new year's like that's just not the way i want to bring in my new year's and and i'm not discrediting anybody or that are you know belittling anybody that does that like people have different preferences but like i said things may change like, i may end up going to a party this year just to see you know whatever we'll see but that's just not typically how i bring in my new year's probably fun though but that's just not how i bring in my new year's granted i do like to party like i do like to go out with my friends get cute like i love any reason to get cute honestly <laughs> so yeah but yeah i have goals for myself for next year like there's so much i want to do um and it's just making sure that i do it and Hold myself accountable for doing it. I feel like this chit chat you're ready with me is not going anywhere. Like I'm not talking about anything interesting. Girl, face. I kind of like this little setup down here. But so much better. I don't have too much like background light going on. I want to talk about. So yeah, this semester has been about me reconstructing myself. It has been hard. Um, it's just, it's just honestly and truly been been a growing and learning experience. Like figuring out what I like, what I don't like, what I'll tolerate. What I won't tolerate, you know, what affects my energy, what doesn't affect my energy, what makes me feel good. Honestly, it's been my most selfish semester. And I don't regret it because if I didn't have this semester, if I didn't go through everything that I went through this summer and this semester, I wouldn't like who I honestly ask myself all the time like who would I be like so much has changed about me like from the way that I dress from the people I hang out with like from the things that I like and don't like like so much all that has changed and I'm glad I'm you know change is not always bad and a lot of surprises too like I was like okay I wasn't expecting that <laughs> It's been interesting. It's been a fun ride. Like, I've enjoyed every little bit of it, even, you know, the times that weren't good. I've enjoyed every little bit of it because, you know, somebody else, I don't know who's looking up to me. I don't know who's watching me. Like, everybody, somebody else has it worse out than you do or than you even think you do. And some people are battling even bigger problems than you are. You never know who's looking up to you, so you know. I just try to be a blessing to someone each and every day that the Lord allows me to see. And that's just the way that I look at it because there's been times when I don't want to get out of the bed, when I don't want to do anything, when I just want to give up. When I feel like, what am I even doing this for? Like, there's been plenty of those days where I don't want to do anything. 
where I just want to give up because I just don't see the point and the purpose of anything. And I think a lot of that came from like not even knowing what I wanted to do in life, not knowing my purpose. And like that just made me feel purposeless. And I'm just like, what am I even doing this for? Like you just get so frustrated. Like what am I doing this for? Like it's frustrating. You have to ask yourself that, especially when you see other people like moving on. Like college is like you can't get into that whole comparison stuff like because yeah you're gonna see a lot of people other other people moving on and doing big things and you're just like what am I doing like why is nothing working for me like these grades aren't good like this that the other like yes I'm in the same classes as my friends and I'm comparing our grades and I'm trying to figure out I helped you study but my grades don't look like yours like I'm just using random examples I'm not particularly saying like that that happened but it's like, what, what what is going on? Why me? Like, what is wrong with me? Why isn't anything working for me? Like, and I, I just have to remind myself that you cannot compare your journey to anybody else's. Like, if we all had the same journey, like, we wouldn't learn and grow from it. Like, we just wouldn't. And I have to remind myself that. And I just started praying a lot, talking to, like, my relationship with God, honestly and truly, has gotten so much better this semester. Like, Woo, it's gotten so much better. I've always had a relationship with God. But before this semester, it was very long distance. It was a long distance relationship. And I'm not pushing God on anybody, but just whatever you believe in, whatever you meditate or pray or whatever, you know, makes you feel good, whatever centers you, I advise you to like, just find something to make, you know that makes you stay grounded and won't make you lose your mind because i honestly and truly believe that god will not put more on us than we can bear and everything works together like everything serves as a purpose so anyways once i just started praying about like trying to figure out what i wanted to do i started doing research you know because prayer without work is dead <laughs> um i started doing research because honestly, I wasn't happy. I'm, bi I'm a biology major. I was pre-med. I'm no longer pre-med. Sorry, mom. She hates when I say that. But yeah, <laughs> I'm not pre-med anymore. Still taking the same classes. Anybody can be pre-med. You can be a fashion apparel major and still be pre-med. Like, slap the title on if you, if you want, if you like, whatever. But anywho, um, what was the thing? <laughs> I'm a biology major and I'm no longer pre-med. That's what I was saying, Tierra. Um, and once I started figuring out, like, what do I want to do? Because I was like, I don't want to go into, like, basic research and look at sales. And, like, I just didn't want to do that. I don't want to be a pharmacist. I don't want to be a doctor. Like, I used to want to be a pediatrician. That's the whole reason why I was pre-med. Because I love kids. And... But that wasn't enough for me. Like... When I, when I told people that, like, I was just like, yeah, I want to be a doctor. But honestly, when I came into college, I didn't know anything. Like, I didn't. I was like, I don't know why I didn't know anything. I don't know why I didn't do my research. Like, I didn't know of all these other majors that were honestly out there. And that sounds crazy. Like, you would think you would know. But honestly, I didn't. Like, I didn't know you can major in some of these things that you can major in. Like, it's, it's, not, it's crazy. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, basically, once I figured out that okay so y'all know i'm passionate about makeup i already told you that i don't know how many times so i started doing my research started doing my research started doing my research and then i just kept sleeping on it like i like i don't want to change my major because i love science don't get me wrong i'm just not passionate about the career path i have chosen and i just kept thinking like do i really want to go to med school do i really want to dive deeper into depth do i really you know can i really just see myself being a doctor for the rest of my life and you know it may change i may you know pick up that career path again but that's right now that's not my career path and i have to do what's going to make me happy for the most part and what's going to satisfy me and what I found out is that I could be a um, cosmetic scientist. So I could like work. This is my plan. You know, we plan, God laughs, LOL. Um, what I found out is, you know, I can start in a makeup lab somewhere. 
you know, it doesn't matter. And just work my way up into a, a big makeup company or a brand or anything like that. And that's what I want to do. When I found out that I could do that, when I tell you all, I've been so much more passionate about school in my classes, my science classes. Like, I feel like I actually have a purpose in going to class because I'm like, okay, yeah. Like, some of that has honestly changed my outlook, especially in college because I just feel like I'm here. Like, I felt like I was here just to be here because everybody else was doing it. I didn't have nothing else to do and I don't want to just go to work. I'm not ready to be thrown into the real world. I just feel like I was here. You know, my grades aren't bad. And they've actually gotten better since I figured out, like, kind of what I want to do. So right now I'm in the process of trying to secure an internship. And just praying on it, of course. So yeah, that's, that's college for me. Just the college is just the big finesse and also figuring out who you are and what you want to do, why you want to do it. Is it going to make you happy? Like all of that stuff. Like there's just so many things that you have to think about. And I'm using this college experience to the best of my advantage. Cause I know when this, when it's over, when it's all said and done, I'm going to have to go out into the real world. I'm going to have to make something up for myself. I'm going to have to make my parents proud. <laughs> and that scares me. Cause it's, like yeah after graduation from high school it's like it's sink it's sink or swim from there but honestly i don't think that's true that's what a lot of people say i think after college it's sink or swim like what are you honestly going to do with your life like with the way you know things are changing in this world everybody is not guaranteed a job everybody is not guaranteed a job let's be honest and so that's i feel like that's why a lot of people like major in or go to school for things that don't really make them happy just because they feel like this that's what they have to do to secure a job and that's fine and that's dandy i understand that not everybody is majoring in things that they're passionate about because obviously obviously <laughs> obviously i'm not passionate about my major that much but it's, i'm more so passionate about what i can do with my degree Cause let's be real if i could like major in fashion merchandising and i'm not discrediting that major believe me i have friends that are fashion apparel majors kudos to them but i don't even know how to do some of the stuff that y'all do and i don't even know all the terms that y'all know and what y'all know about buying and supply and i don't know all that so i'm not discrediting that i'm just saying like if you know if i didn't have makeup to lean on if I didn't know anything about science like if I wasn't really good at science I wouldn't know what to do like fat I'd probably just be like yeah I'm a fashion apparel major and I hate saying that because I don't want to make it seem like I'm discrediting that major because I'm honestly not like you know everybody has something to bring to the table and I really hate those people that always try to compare their majors to other people like I'm not okay that sounds really hypocritical because it sounds like I just sat here and did that but I don't like when people are like what classes are you taking oh those seem easy I'm taking this this and that and you have to understand that everybody learns different everybody struggles differently like one person may be good at math another person may be good at chemistry okay that is math okay they may be good at like cell biology or something like that you cannot, like I said, you can't compare your journey to somebody else's. Like, stop. Ooh, that irritates me. Especially when you tell somebody, like, especially since finals week has ended, and you start telling people, like, what your final grades are, and they're good, and they'll be like, you must have took easy classes. I'm like, no, I busted my ass to have good grades. Thank you very much. So I just, ooh, everybody's journey is different. Everybody learns different. Everybody struggles differently. So, yeah, that's that's my little rant
I just honestly and truly, truly believe if you find what makes you happy, life will be so much better. When you find what irritates you, you know how to stay away from it. When you find what makes your energy changes and what makes your energy change in like good and bad ways, you'll stay away from it. You'll know what you want. You'll know what to attract. Like, you'll know. Sorry, I'm out of the camera right now. I'm trying to make sure. Everything's blended. So yeah, this semester, once again, learning experience about everything, about myself, about other people. And I really figured out that I'm really and truly an introvert. And that kind of upset some people because I, don't say, I won't say it upsets some people. I'll just say like, let me zoom out a little bit. I'll just say being an introvert, I feel like some people look at me and think that I'm stuck up because I don't want to, I don't speak to everybody and it's not even them. It's like me, like I'm not like a people person <laughs> and I, it's just when I'm comfortable around people, I'm annoying. But, like, if I don't really know you, I'm not, the, like, the type of person that's like, oh, hey, da 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 Like, that's just not me. And I've been trying to be better. I actually, this semester, I've gotten better with that, too. Because I've been, like, I don't want people to think I'm stuck up. Like, like so many people have told me, like, oh, my gosh. Like, you come off as this, this, this. But when I got to know you, like, you're really down to earth. You're really, there. like, I'm, I'm goofy. I'm goofy as hell. <laughs> that's me. I honestly don't care about a lot of things. Like when people get to know me, like they're just like, oh my gosh, like I just would not have expected you to be like this. And I'm like, I know. But it's because I'm an introvert and it's so bad. Hold on. It's so bad that I hate like ordering food. That also has to do with my anxiety as well. But I hate like ordering food over the phone. Like thank God for like apps that you can in the internet that you can just go online and order your food i hate doing like i just hate talking to new people <laughs> and that's so bad because like college is where you want to like network because of course it's not what you know it's who you know right and so I, this mess i was like dear you got to get out of that and it's like i come off as shy i come off as shy because i'm not really like a big talker i'm not a vocal person at all like unless i'm used to you unless i know you because and, and a lot of that has to do with sometimes like my delivery is off sometimes honestly like I don't always say things in the way that they need to be said so people that don't know me will get the vibe that I'm a B-I-T-C-H <laughs> and then the people that do know me are like no that's that's not her that's just how she you know that's just how she is but honestly i'm a genuine person like my delivery just is off sometimes and i've been working on it and i've been working on not being so introverted honestly i've just been working on me okay project here that's 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 what this whole semester is it's just been project here because i've been battling like with figuring out who i am and how i want to be perceived and that'll that'll drive you freaking crazy because it's like who like when i realized i'm not really living to please anybody and i was just like forget it you know people can either get to know me or they can just form their own opinions about me because at this point i don't care I'm not living to please anybody but the Lord, of course. And that can be so frustrating when you're trying to like, I don't have to prove myself to anybody. And when I figured that out, I was just like, whatever. If you gonna, if you want to be cool with me, we could be cool. If you just want to, you know, go off of perceptions about me, do that. You know, I'm not going to force nobody to be cool with me or anything of that nature like you you your assumptions can be all you know about me if that's what you choose because i'm not gonna drive myself crazy and cry myself to sleep because people think this this and that and the other about me because i know who i am the people that know me know who i am so hey yeah and i have friends that will drive themselves crazy. my camera decided it was over me and just decided to cut off i don't even know what was recording it wasn't 
recording so I hope this wasn't just me rambling for no reason that's irritating I don't even know what I was talking about now thanks a lot camera um what was I talking about Where? I don't know what I was talking about now that's irritating Um, I'm really trying to remember what I was talking about. Okay, whatever. Moving on along, I guess. I guess it wasn't meant for me to finish talking what I was talking about. today I think I'm just going to uh that is record here where is I don't know I was gonna put on my NARS um lip gloss I don't know where it is so uh, that's not gonna happen today so we'll just use this wet and wild lip gloss I'm not feeling lipstick today maybe I'm not feeling this today either because it doesn't want to open there we go. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. I don't even know. I don't even know if everything got recorded on this. this is so frustrating. Okay. I'm gonna go finish my hair and then I'll be back. Is my hair like giving you guys like 90 vibes? Where <laughs> it? Let's zoom in. I don't even know what I did. I just tried to like finish my hairstyle. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um I hope, oh, hold on. I hope that this chit chat get ready with me. Let me zoom in a little bit. I hope that this chit chat get ready, me, get ready with me wasn't too much and it wasn't too all over the place. It probably was. I'm a rambler. I should probably write down what I want to talk about for future references. But I hope you got to get to know me a little bit more just from my vlogs and just from my makeup videos. I hope you can kind of see my personality. This is why I don't talk. <laughs> I hope that you guys got to see a bit more of my personality and who Tierra is. And I hope that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm so weird. <laughs> I hope that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I hope that you, you know, like this video. Um, check out my older videos if you haven't already. If this is your first time coming to my channel. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. And leave me suggestions for things that you want to see me do. Things that you're interest, interested in. Ask me questions about me. And what you want to know about me like this video or don't like it it's up to you you know and as always until next time <laughs> let me redo that and as always and as always until next time